Today's topic, do what you were born to do. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and yes, your business. Do what you were born to do. You know, when a dog trainer goes into a home to work with a disciplined dog, or a dog with disciplinary problems, the first question they often ask the owner is, do you walk your dog? Now, the reason they ask this is because dogs are animals, animals that were born and bred to move. They're born to work, right? And so when dogs are, are limited in their mobility or, or taken away the actual ability to go roam and, and be active, one of the first things they do is act out. They tear up the furniture. They start eating chairs. They start barking a lot because they don't know what to do. It's their way of acting out, right? Because they're not doing what they were born to do. Now, I don't know about you, but I know this applies for me as well when I think about this, right? I think humans, us humans, we were born to do our own greatness. We were born for freedom, to really go after our dreams, our hopes and our desires. But how often do we not go after that because a teacher or a parent in the past, maybe a friend or, or society tells us that we're supposed to follow a certain pattern, right? We're supposed to sit in a cubicle maybe. Maybe that's you and you feel that way or, or maybe you're a business owner and you feel more like an employee to your business. You're working 15-hour days, six or seven days a week only to find yourself being paid last. Hey, I get it. I was there and I totally understand. Look, we're all on different journeys. And regardless of what yours is, I believe that you're born for freedom, freedom to do what you want, what you're put on this earth to do. Now, for all of us, that's going to be a little different. And commonly, I get told by people, but Doug, you know, I just don't know what to do next. Or Doug, I get it, but you know, there's no one around me that's having conversations like this. There's nobody around me that is actually doing things. There's no one that's you know, being a digital nomad or I want to travel and there's nobody else I know that's doing that. Well, one of the things we often talk about is surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So I'm going to give you a couple options on how you can do that because there really is not a day that goes by that somebody doesn't reach out to me and tell me that they are limited by the actual ability to work with somebody, a coach, a mentor, or be surrounded by friends and family who have, are thinking along the same mental pathway. So first of all, the number one thing you can do is get a coach, a coach and a mentor. Now, yes, that's what I do professionally and, and I love working with people, but that's not why I'm saying it. I hired coaches and professionals and mentors and paid them, paid them a lot of money because you get what you pay for oftentimes. And I knew this at an early age, that this was the way that I was going to be able to leapfrog ahead. And I spent a lot of that time, you know, I spent my 10,000 hours, way 10,000 hours ago studying how to be a good coach and how to actually help someone move the needle. Now, it doesn't have to be me, but search a mentor, someone who's been there and done that. It's worth the investment every time. Now, if you're not looking for that one-on-one -on -one or that big of a capital investment, what's next? What are some other alternatives? Mastermind groups, right? So mastermind groups are a great way of interacting with like-minded people. Oftentimes in mastermind groups, just by the association of the people that you're with, you will grow. You get to be able to talk about you know, struggles that you're going through, um, ways of actually growing your business or your dreams, but you also get to hear about other people's trials, tribulations, successes, and failures. It's an amazing way of doing it. You know, there's mastermind groups that, that range all over the place. You know, in fact, recently I was talking to somebody about a $50,000 uh, mastermind group. Now here, I run mastermind groups as well, um, and they're a lower price point. So if that's something you're interested in, reach out and we'll be happy to schedule a call. Not everybody gets into something like that. Now, what's next? Well, we have Author of Your Own Story University. That's another advantage for you. That's a way to be at a price point with people about a gym membership that are really looking at excelling. You know, that's another thing. Okay, what else? Well, you're like, Doug, I just don't have that revenue. Or I'm not ready to make that leap. Well, at Author of Your Own Story, we have a free Facebook group, which is another advantage for you. Get on that Facebook group. And the reason I say get on that Facebook group is regardless if you even you know choose one of the other paths. In fact, I put a lot of my clients in the group because again, you're gonna be surrounded by like-minded people. You know, you are the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with. We've all heard that before and we know it's true, right? If you look at somebody who's getting, going in and out of jail, chances are they're hanging out with people who are in and out of jail and causing a lot of problems. 
The same can be true for successful individuals. When you look at successful people in any area of life, they're often hanging out with other successful people. And that's what I want for you. This is a way for you to leapfrog ahead. So again, you could start off with something as simple as the author of your own story Facebook group. It's a community of like-minded people and it's free, right? There's no barrier to entry here. That's something you should do no brainer. If you're interested in mastermind groups or coaching, reach out to me and I'll look at it for you. And if it's not a good fit for something that we're doing, I'm happy to refer you to somebody else. I have a vast network of professionals and I'm happy. My only goal is to get you where you want to go. So don't be like the dog where you're restricted from actually walking. You just act out, right? You start drinking too much, doing drugs, just sedating yourself by watching TV. We don't want that for you. And I know you don't want that for yourself. It's time right here in this moment to step forward. And so what I want you to do, just a simple exercise, is grab your journal and grab your five to thrive, your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and yes, your business, and look in there and look at where you are not living in complete freedom. Where in those five to thrive are you not acting as if you were born for this journey, you're born for freedom? Where are you being the, the restricted dog? Now, I know I often fall into this, especially, you know, recently I was ill and I got sick. And so it was easy for me to justify some of my behaviors and start to slip back into old patterns. I'm human and so are you and I get it. But the key is identifying those things, identifying your five to thrive and looking at those areas where you're actually sedating yourself or, or looking at that and, and being more like the dog who isn't allowed to walk. And once you've identified that, then it's time to take action. I'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to me, find me on social media, or just shoot me an email. I'd love to know how this is working for you. In the meantime, I will see you tomorrow. Go out and inspire someone simply by being the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.